words. What he's saying is the leadership, always the leadership, they didn't care about the people. They used their leadership position in order to benefit from the people. And that's what he's warning them and how he is different. So he says in this passage of scripture, all those who came before me, they were thieves and robbers. But my sheep did not hear them. For I am the door. And through me, if anyone should enter, they should what? Be saved. Now, it's very important we see this concept of salvation. And this construction, salvation is in the passive meaning. You have to be saved. You can't save yourself. You can't get into the sheep pen unless you go through the door. That is, you go through Messiah. And in one sense here, there's a change. That sheep pen is being associated with the kingdom. You can't get into the kingdom. You can't be saved unless you go through the door. You can't find salvation. You can't have a kingdom hope if you don't pass through Yeshua. He's the way. He's the entrance into the kingdom. So he says here, I am the door. And if anyone should enter in, meaning through him, they shall be saved. I will bring them in and I will bring them out and they shall find pastor. Now that's important because the pastor is where they receive what? The water and the grass. This is where they have life. So he says, I'm going to bring you into the kingdom and you're going to have pastor. You're going to have the things that make for, and we'll see in a moment, life and a certain type of life, a kingdom life. Now, all of this is a purpose. What is its purpose? To excite us, to teach us what we can have and only have through Messiah Yeshua. So he says, and they shall find pastor. He says, but the thief, he comes in order, what? He comes in order to steal and to kill. Now, this word kill is the word sacrifice. And many commentators point out how unusual it would be to find this word here. He says, the thieves come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But the word here for kill means to sacrifice, and it tells us something. When we follow someone else's teaching and not rooted in the scripture, not based upon Yeshua, what happens? Well, it brings death, but it's like a sacrifice, a sacrifice to the enemy a sacrifice to satan all those other ones are trying to offer us up to him rather than us being offered up to the living god so he says and they came everyone else to steal to kill and to perish but i came that you might have life and have it how well it uses a phrase that you might have it abundantly but here's the word it means in an ever-increasing manner. Now, this is important. See, when we look at this passage of Scripture, Yeshua is saying, I came, and without me, you're not going to have life, and you're not going to have an ever-increasing life. Now, what's he talking about here? Well, we've mentioned that the term life is associated with the kingdom. And what he's promising is this, that we're going to grow in the kingdom experience we're going to understand kingdom truth better and better and better so that we can be more prepared for how well remember what yeshua says early on in his teachings in matthew chapter 5 when he's speaking on that that sermon on the mount he says you know just don't want to be in the kingdom he says if you're wise you're going to be wanting to be a a least in the kingdom of god absolutely not he says, you're going to want to be great in the kingdom of God. And to be great in the kingdom of God, you need to understand kingdom truth in this lifetime, in this age. And say what he's saying is, it's only through me that you can have a growing kingdom experience now. Being able to discern everything and how it relates to the future. How it's going to be connected to the kingdom. And he is the source of of that he is the beginning that's why he says 
I am the door. So look again. He says, everyone else who has come before me, all these spiritual leaders, he says, they have come to, to steal, to kill, and destroy. But I have come in order, with a purpose. That phrase, in order, means a purpose. That you shall have life. And he says, and have it in an increasing manner. And that's why when we follow Messiah and we give him all of ourselves, holding nothing back, determining only to do his will, that's when we really experience life. And without that experience, you know what? We're going to be downcast. We're not going to have that contentment inside. Our life is not going to have the purpose that it ought to have. And therefore, as I've said so often, we're going to be frustrated, we're going to be confused, and we're going to begin to go after things, thinking this will make me happy, this will give me meaning, this is going to give me fulfillment of my life, and they won't. All these things, when we're not following him, what they do is cause us to follow those wrong shepherds. Those ones who have come before, leaders who have only one purpose, and that is our destruction. So Yeshua, he came in order that we might have abundant life. So let me ask you, why wouldn't you explore his word daily? Why wouldn't you pray significantly several times a day? Direct me, lead me, be that good shepherd. Lead me to where you want me to be. Supply me with what you want me to have. It's only when we live in that manner that our life's going to change and that we're going to find that peace that passes all understanding. Well, again, my time has come to an end. May God richly bless you as you follow the Lord's leadership in your life.